this is gonna forever be a special place to me. I grinded through the, the hard times. You know, I overcame the obstacles and that's what makes reaching your goal special. It showed me what, uh, what I'm truly made of. Three-time All-American here at Arizona State. You won a national championship. Coming back to Arizona State, how, how much of a, a cool experience is this? Man, just walking through the doors here into the wrestling room today, I got the butterflies. It brings back those memories of just, uh, you know, chasing my goals, chasing my dreams and overcoming a lot of obstacles, not just on the mat, but off the mat. Why wrestling? What drew you to the sport? It was actually my cousin. He was three years older than me. He grew up in Tucson. And every time we would talk on the phone, he was a wrestler. He said, hey, you should try out for wrestling. He forced me to practice one day with him. You know, I went over and I tried it out, got my butt kicked, but I walked away thinking, you know what? I can do this, I can figure this out. For me, that's what appealed to me. It was just me showing people what I was capable of, not what I was lacking. I grew up missing a leg, I was born missing my leg, so people immediately saw me and assumed all the things that I couldn't do. Right? and they, they wanted to shelter me. My mom was the opposite. My mom raised me with my head in the clouds to where I didn't see missing a leg as a big deal. You know, it was just like, my, my siblings have two legs, I have one, oh well, I'm gonna figure it out. You talk a lot about your mom, Judy, and how much of an impact she had on your life. What do you take from the lessons she gave you? Um, you know, my mom, um, you know, now that I'm, I'm about to be a dad, and I'm older, I, I kind of realize what my mom's done for me. You know, I, I use the word unstoppable in my motivational speeches. And if someone would ask me in one word to describe what unstoppable is, I'll say my mom. Always pushing forward, always grinding, always figuring out a way to get it done. There were some times where your mom was struggling, right? And you were pursuing something that you were, like you said, you were passionate about. Uh, you felt like this was your future. And there was a point in your life where you were gonna give it up. Yeah, you know, I remember it was like my sophomore, junior year of college. It was a rough time for our family. You know, my mom, she was, she was struggling. You know, not long after that, we did lose the house. And I remember just talking to her, telling her, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit. She told me, she's like, I don't want you giving up on your dream. She said, we're going to figure this out. We're going to be okay. Uh, but you stay there. Did that give you a, like a just completely different perspective on, on competing? Um, I think in college it definitely did. I was wrestling off the mat as well, you know, with my personal challenges, with, with my family, with just, just, you know, mentally just trying to focus uh, on my academics and wrestling. It was tough. You know, something drew me back. I remember just getting this stack of letters from a group of third graders uh, and, uh, you know, they decided to write me as their hero of the week. You know, they had read an article about me and, uh, you know, after reading those letters, like 30 of them, I realized that I was wrestling for more than just a trophy at that point, you know, more than just a ring. It was to send a message. And it will be a tall task for Anthony Robles, the senior from Mesa, Arizona, is seven minutes away from a national title. I knew it was going to be my final match, you know, so I'm running out for my final match of my, my wrestling career, and I'm about to compete for this national title, and I was terrified. I remember getting on that mat and feeling the vibration of the mat because it was so loud in there, it was intense. Everything just went quiet. And I remember just locking on to one section. And you know, up there was my mom, it was my siblings. You know what, I'm gonna win it for them tonight. The three-time Pac-10 champion, Anthony no Robles, break. looking Watch to add break. a national oh, champion right. to his resume. Anthony Robles has shown us that impossible is nothing. Anthony Robles is a national champion. It's not that it's an easy road, it's that you had to go over many obstacles and many challenges to get to where you want. I grinded through the, the hard times. It was a blessing and an honor. How do you want to be remembered, you know, the most through your career as an athlete, as a man, as a father? You know, for a while it was about getting my individual goals, right? Reaching my national title, my state titles, all that. But then it changed to just sharing that message of being unstoppable. They walk away just more encouraged and more confident in themselves. I believe I've done my job. I want to leave an impact and, and, and a positive one. You know, that I change people's lives forever.